During a recent state visit to Mauritius, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Mauritian Prime Minister Navinchandra Ramgulam reaffirmed their commitment to strengthening bilateral relations, elevating their partnership to an enhanced strategic partnership. The leaders emphasized the importance of defense and maritime security cooperation, acknowledging it as a crucial pillar of their relationship. They agreed to bolster collaboration in safeguarding the Indian Ocean region by enhancing joint maritime surveillance, hydrographic surveys, and patrolling. Additionally, both nations expressed satisfaction with ongoing discussions between Mauritius and the United Kingdom regarding the Chagos Islands, with India reiterating its support for Mauritius on this issue. India is set to host a high-profile security conclave on March 16, bringing together intelligence chiefs from around 20 nations. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval will chair the event, which aims to enhance intelligence sharing to combat terrorism and transnational crimes. Notable attendees include U.S. Director of National Intelligence Tulsi Gabbard, Canadian Security Intelligence Service Chief Daniel Rogers, and Britain's MI6 head Richard Moore. Discussions will also address global challenges, such as the Russia-Ukraine conflict and Middle East tensions. The conclave coincides with the Racina Dialogue, India's flagship geopolitics conference. Recent reports highlight that Pakistan's arms imports have surged by 61%, with China accounting for 81% of the total imports. This increase is attributed to Pakistan's ongoing defense modernization efforts amidst regional security challenges. The report from CIPRI notes that despite global arms trade trends, Pakistan has increasingly relied on Chinese military hardware to strengthen its defense capabilities. This shift comes at a time when tensions in the region remain high, with Pakistan prioritizing advanced military equipment for strategic defense. The partnership with China continues to play a crucial role in Pakistan's defense policy. Rafael Advanced Defense Systems of Israel and Larsen and Tubro of India reportedly signed a memorandum of understanding to locally produce the Trophy Active Protection System for Indian combat vehicles. The system, operational since 2011, is designed to counter anti-tank missiles, RPGs, and drones using advanced radar and precise countermeasures. This collaboration aims to equip platforms like India's T-90S Bhishma tanks, enhancing survivability against modern threats. By incorporating substantial Indian components, the initiative aligns with India's defense self-reliance goals while strengthening its military modernization efforts. The Indian Navy is reportedly assessing deck-based airborne early warning and control aircraft options for its future aircraft carriers. Among the leading contenders are the Northrop Grumman E-2D Hawkeye, and the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. The move aligns with India's efforts to enhance maritime surveillance and operational capabilities. The selection of an AWACS platform is expected to play a crucial role in bolstering the Navy's carrier strike groups by providing extended radar coverage and battle management support. Discussions are ongoing to determine the most suitable aircraft for integration with India's expanding naval aviation fleet. Reports indicate that U.S. Vice President J.D. Vance is likely to visit India later this month. The visit is expected to enhance diplomatic and strategic relations between the two nations. Key discussions during the trip will include strengthening bilateral cooperation in defense, trade, and regional security matters. This visit comes amid growing concerns in the Indo-Pacific region and marks a significant step in reinforcing India-US ties, particularly with regard to shared interests in countering security challenges and fostering greater economic collaboration. India's Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, has reportedly made significant strides in directed energy weapon technology by developing the 300 kW Surya laser system. Designed to neutralize aerial threats like drones, missiles, and rockets, this high-energy laser boasts an operational range of 20 km, making it one of the most powerful laser weapons globally. The project is led by DRDO's Laser Science and Technology Center, or LASTEC, marking a major leap from its previous 25 kilowatts laser system. As India joins an elite group of nations pioneering high-power laser defense systems, the development is expected to enhance India's air defense strategy. However, challenges remain in scaling the system for operational deployment. Larsen and Tubro, LNT, has reportedly hinted at its potential entry into the fighter jet manufacturing sector aiming to support the Indian Air Force in addressing its urgent requirement for nearly 200 combat aircraft.
This move comes as India pushes for greater private sector involvement in defense production to reduce dependency on foreign suppliers. LNT, already a key player in defense manufacturing, is expected to leverage its experience in aerospace and engineering to contribute to the indigenous fighter jet programs. The initiative aligns with India's broader strategy of self-reliance in defense and could significantly accelerate the IF's fleet modernization efforts. Discussions are ongoing regarding the company's role in upcoming military aviation projects, with a focus on advanced manufacturing capabilities. If finalized, this could mark a major milestone in India's efforts to strengthen its domestic fighter jet production ecosystem. The Indian Air Force has outlined plans to induct 114 new multirole fighter aircraft within the next four to five years to bolster its combat capabilities. A high-level committee, led by Defense Secretary Rajesh Kumar Singh, recently submitted a report to Defense Minister Rajnath Singh, emphasizing the necessity of these acquisitions to maintain squadron strength, especially with the anticipated retirement of 10 squadrons by 2037. The IF aims to achieve a total of 60 fighter squadrons by 2047, addressing potential two-front conflict scenarios. Potential contenders for this procurement include the Dasara Faili, Saab Gripen, Eurofighter Typhoon, MiG-35, and the F-16, all previously evaluated in earlier tenders. Notably, Boeing's F-15 Strike Eagle is expected to be a new entrant in this global tender. To expedite the process, the IF plans to conduct limited trials to assess the capabilities of the participating aircraft. The Indian Air Force is reportedly exploring the integration of Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air missiles onto its Tejas fighter jets as an interim solution until the indigenous Astra Mk-3 missile is fully developed and operational. The Meteor missile, known for its advanced capabilities and extended range, is currently used on the Rafale jets in IF service. Given the urgent need to enhance the combat effectiveness of the Tejas fleet, the IF is evaluating options for local production of the Meteor system to ensure long-term availability and self-sufficiency. The move aligns with India's broader defense modernization strategy, which aims to equip indigenous platforms with cutting-edge weaponry while transitioning toward domestically produced systems. Meanwhile, the Astra Mk3, designed to provide a long-range engagement capability, is undergoing development and is expected to be a key addition to India's air combat arsenal in the coming years. That's all from YTS Team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.